We are gonna make a video right now, which is me and you, and you, okay? Okay. All right, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. What's going on, everyone? Rob Realistic. Hey, so we're on our way to go get a couple of accessories slash things for the truck. So I have this fan shroud right here, and it's the original fan shroud, but it has cracks. Crack here, and then another crack here, and then it's also got this big chunk missing out of it. So I'm gonna get a new or a replacement piece. Hopefully it's in decent condition. But that's what we got going on today. So we are gonna head out and get this shit taken care of. All right guys, so what we got right here is the bottom valance. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that sits underneath the bumper of the front of the truck. You can see it's pretty oxidized. We got some hardware. And there's the new upper fan shroud. Some seat belts. They're blue, but I'm gonna clean them up. And I'm gonna at least paint this stuff black here. The belts will only be the part that's blue. I'm gonna clean that really good. And then I'm gonna take my blowtorch and heat it up and get some oil resurfaced. And then uh, if it doesn't do the job, then I will spray paint. Looks like a dog chewed on it. Which would make sense, because the place I got it from, they had dogs. So after you get that thing cleaned, then it's a matter of heating up the plastic to bring all the oils back up to the surface. So we're gonna do a test area right here, an area you really won't see trick is to not melt it, but just to keep an eye on it. That's a good area to see. Watch this. Well, there you guys go. I got the balance on on the front. If you look underneath. To me, it looks pretty good. Like I said, all I did is sand it, and I did end up doing a spritz of black paint because it just wasn't black enough for me, but I think it looks pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and move on to the next project. All right, so here is the old shroud, the original, I'm assuming the original one that came with the truck. You can see there's a big old 
crack here, there's another crack here, and then there's the chip that's on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this and install the other one. But it's kind of a process because this top piece and the bottom piece are held on with staples. The bottom piece has been modified to fit the fan that I have. So I have to remove the staples and then fab it back onto the other one. All right, so we just got the two three eighths nuts. Have you guys ever put bolts in here and then you lose them? You can't find them? You're like, what the hell? And then you realize you stuck it here because it looks just like a regular bolt. Also, these, these Chevys, I don't know if you guys know this, but all the Chevys have the bolt holes for the four core radiators. These are the bolt holes to relocate these brackets here so you can get the longer radiator. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't really like the fact that I can still see the little spots. Maybe I should have sanded it down, but whatever, dude. I'm like, I'm not too worried about it. This isn't, the truck isn't supposed to be show under the hood anyways. The truck is gonna be show on the outside. This is just gonna be a functioning motor. But what I ended up having to do is Get a couple of bolts and bolt them together. So the fan shroud's done. And then yesterday I ended up fabbing a bracket up right here for the power steering pump because what it used to have was a flaring tool, which looks stupid. But I fabbed this up, put it all together, make sure that the belt and everything was, you know, aligned and everything. Now, I know it works, so what I'm gonna do is remove it. Well, I'm gonna remove this and the power steering pump and pull the pulley off because we're gonna replace the pulley today. That'll be in a different video, so check out that video probably next week. We took care of the balance underneath there and this. So that's a, that's a definitely, it's an improvement, I believe. Um, at least it makes me feel better anyways that it's not cracked and uh, maybe eventually I'll end up sanding this back down and repainting it so it looks better. Alright guys, Robert Listics out. Thanks for watching. Peace.